The State of Nevada Conservancy under Proposition 84 recognized the fish friendly farming's immediate and long lasting benefits, not only to the individual farms where the conservation practices are being installed and the fish friendly farming certifications are being evaluated and completed, but it also understands the public benefit of local as well as downstream stakeholders that use the water that come from our watersheds. I've been a fisherman all my life, so I appreciate going to clear streams where you can catch trout without sediment running down it. So it, it was a real natural for me to get involved in fish friendly farming to make sure that my farm was not creating any uh, problems downstream. Uh, we have a few streams on the property, so we've made sure that all of our waterways are grassed and protected. We uh, don't disc anymore, and uh, we, we mow and do the, any, all sorts of uh, sustainable practices to ensure that it is a fish-friendly habitat here on the farm, as well as when the water leaves our farm. Agriculture to El Dorado County is really our sense of place. It is part of our community, the timber you know, resources that we have in the community, to the agriculture, the apples, the pears, to the grapes. It's always been just the community in which we live. The activities that are associated, the support that we get from agriculture, the um, daily activities, the visitors, and the way of life is really focused and surrounded by agriculture. Well, I've been growing Christmas trees my whole life. I'm 61. I was born and raised in this area and spent my whole life on the water, either fishing, rafting. I just appreciate the, the clean, our clean rivers and to try to keep it clean for the next person down the, downstream. From uh, my backyard, this is what I can see is where our water comes from uh, every year, some years more than others. And that's what we try to do under Fish Friendly Farming. We document the efforts that the landowners are taking to achieve that goal. Um, there's many, many different types of best management practices that are installed on the, on the land as far as cover crop, buffer zones for streams, irrigation management systems, and then also overlapping with integrated pest management. A holistic approach of improving the related resources that are also found here within these watersheds. And those uh, overlap with habitat values. the rolling hills, the water that comes off of them. Um, you know, ag has to be a component of the land and having the practices installed on the land is really a holistic approach to agriculture and really watershed management and stewardship.